In this video, I'm going to go over how to duplicate a CD or DVD um, on a Mac and using Disk Utility for free. Um, just put the CD in or the DVD in. This will work for non copyrighted DVDs or CDs um, only. So if they're encrypted or have a password protection, this might not work for you. I'm going to go to the spotlight, that's the um, shortcut in the top right, and just type in Disk Utility. And Disk Utility is the first thing that comes up. It's usually under Applications as well. That's the quickest way to get to Disk Utility. If you don't see that, you can um, choose uh, while you're on your desktop, choose um, Finder and choose File, New Finder Window. And then you will go to um, your actual hard drive d folder and go to Applications. It's a little bit difficult because you have to dig to get to it. So under Applications, you'll go to Utilities. I'll show you this view just so you can see a little bit better. So went to um, applications, utilities, and then you just search for disk utility, which is right there. So if you double click that, it will open disk utility as well. So you see that my my CD is now on the desktop right there to in the center of the screen. That's my my um, DVD that I'm going to copy. It also shows up in disk utility right there. Um, I also see my hard drive and it's broken down into subcategories. What I actually want to choose is the um, CD or DVD subfolder. So that's the primary part of the CD that you will see on your desktop as well. And right there I'm going to click on either new image right here, which you, s well actually that will create a new disk image, you probably don't want to do that. Um, let's go to file, new, and we're going to choose disk image from that disk. So the disk name is right underneath it on the on the desktop. So I'm going to choose disk image from WTLIB 11E. And now it's going to ask me to save it, where to save it, and how to save it. So I'm just going to name that um, Z copy just to change the name up a little bit. And it's going to save on the desktop. If you need to see exactly where it's saved, saving, you can click on this down arrow and give it, get a more precise view of where exactly it's saving. But I know that's saving on the desktop. Um, it, I, w I want it to be a DVD or CD master rather than a compressed um, image. That will make it the same exact copy as what it is now. So that will um, give me basically a master copy. So that's probably the best um, choice if you're going to use this um, for further, further applications where you need a master copy. Encryption, I'm going to choose none. Um, if you need to encrypt it, you can, but I'm going to choose none in that case too. This is just to make a basic generic blank copy. When I hit save, this takes us a few seconds because um, it is rendering all of that information to the desktop. So I'm going to pause the video and come back quickly. It's going to take a little bit longer than it looks like. Okay, so it's been a little bit over 10 minutes and the CD copy is now on the desktop. Um, and it usually shows up right below your um, watchtower or right below your <laughs> CD. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eject the CD. Um, I'm just going to hold down the eject key or you can right click or hold down control and click eject CD. And that CD comes out and you can put in your blank CD from there. Okay, so that CD is um, processing in there, and I'm going to click on um, that CD copy that I made that shows up right there within Disk Utility as a CDR file, and I'm going to click on Burn right up here at the top, or you could choose, um, I believe you can choose File Burn in here as well, I believe it's in here somewhere, but um, let's go back to that, a lot of windows open here, right there burn easiest way to do that I'll click burn and it says burn in super drive if you have other drives um, you could choose a different drive at this point um, if you click that little down arrow it gives you more options as well if you want to burn it slower for some reason um, or burn a test image I don't think you want to do that um, you can verify or not verify and when you're done you can choose to eject the disk or mount it on the desktop so if you choose mount on desktop it's going to show up just like a regular CD would after it's um, been put into the, the drive so hit burn and it will burn and then it should show up on the desktop if you if there's no problems with um, the burning at this point hope that helps